Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Monday morning? Did you see I got a nice brand spanking new Spencer Lawn Care hat on? Spent 20 minutes looking for my other one. Had no clue where it was. And then, uh, yeah, finally I just said, you know what? I'm going to grab a new one out of the box. And then I come out, hop in the truck because I got to go get our mowers. And, uh, found it. Slay about engines, nice and early. There you have it. I know most of you have seen it, but somebody may have not. Slay about engines, Apple Creek, Ohio. Everything you need. Well, I didn't even realize they already had them setting out for me, so yeah, buddy. Good thing about Slay Boz is once you become a great customer of theirs, you can get on their uh, billing system and they'll just mail you a bill and you just pay it once a month. So you would think I've learned by now that the mower drowns my audio out when I'm trying to talk, but I haven't. But long story short, I just said we installed the Kohler 300 hour oil change onto the mower. It currently has 17 hours and the reason it was over a little bit is because the other one broke down on us last week. So I'm not sure if you could hear me or not, but 17 hours on that one now. So it has a 300 hour polar oil change kit on it. And I went a little bit over. Typically it's 10 hours before you do your braking oil change. But this one, the clutch went out in it, like I said. So we were forced to use that one for this one as well. So we went a little bit over, almost double, but not a big deal. And uh, <laughs> got it taken care of. What do you got to say? It's not going anywhere, right? <laughs> For some reason, my gas station close to my house don't carry these. So it has this little thing inside here that shoots whatever that air is into there. Grab a few Splendas. I like Stevia as well. Pull it right on in there. Sweetens it up because this is unsweetened. 10 calories. Not a plug. But hey. Good for a little car ride home. At about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, and how fast I want to go. Good to go. going to get started doing this property just like we do every other property and that is getting the trash so I saw this big old what I thought was a trash bag a white trash bag it ended up being like those doggy pee and poop things like the pads or whatever you want to call them so uh, I wasn't shoving those in my bucket so I just set them down here by the edge of the road it uh they were pretty nasty Looks really good. 
three and a half inch cut. We have no rain in the next seven days. So kept it a little bit taller, about a quarter inch taller than we've been cutting it. And uh, simply we don't want to actually run into a dry spell here and dry it up worse than it needs to be. Good job, TQ. You too, that was pretty quick. Real quick. So we trim this one out on the ditch side every other week. I do want to state real quick, guys, before we uh, <clears throat> move on to the next one. In no way did my comments in yesterday's video about the dump truck insinuate anything negativity uh, wise or assume anything towards the previous owner whatsoever. Uh, I don't believe, honestly, he even knew about it. And I'm going to believe that because the way they said it when they took it apart is it looked like it had not been touched or messed with whatsoever. And I know that gentleman, and I know for a fact that if he would have known about it, he would have fixed it. Hence, you know, the catalytic converter getting snagged off that truck. Those things were $4,000. And, uh, you know, most people would be like, hey, you know, you're buying the truck without it, you know, whatever. I just wanted to make it very clear that I don't think he knew anything about it. Taking care of a few areas here that aren't typically on the weekly mowing schedule. This is just like a charging area or something. I don't even know really. Got to be real careful. Car windows, things can get busted.
Oh, right, so we're not actually going to blow off around the building right now. We're getting sprayed with orkin. I've never seen it done. They actually will take long hoses and go all the way up by the gutters and everything. And pretty crazy. Good job. Those right there, those will make you have a bad day. So years ago, we were down in Myrtle Beach and I was sitting in the jacuzzi and this little ant bit me on my back. I don't know, I grabbed it, it looked like a little fire ant. Dude, I swear it was the most painful thing and took probably about three months to heal. Got the convict out here picking up trash. Q gets all the cars this week. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if you could just come in real quick and be like, play, and just push them all forward, go ahead and trim, let them all slide back. Is that too much to ask for? Try to get most of it before you mow. There's always stuff hidden in the grass, but not as bad. Normally 
I would just stand on there and pick it up. It is uncomfortable with the bucket being there, but haven't did a trash bag just yet. So TQ doesn't like doing these retention pond hilly areas, so I'm going to do them. But I want to show you guys exactly why you got to always be careful. You never want to get too comfortable. And you see that little dark hole right there? That is a groundhog hole, and I totally forgot about it. So watch what happens here. Got real close. So he forgot there was a hole there, but did you see what just happened? He was able to jump right off of that mower, the blades disengaged. So when I saw the hole, I just belled on it. Let the mower go, get off of it, let it do its thing. What I was afraid is if I stayed on it, when I thought I remembered that hole being there from the groundhog, if I hit it, it's probably gonna throw me off. So I'd rather just step off and walk away, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Little bit of weed starting to pop up here. Some clover looks like. All right, guys, got a nice, beautiful cut in here. TQ's just got a little bit around the corner to blow off, and we'll be on to the next one. Looking really good. All that rain, these mild temperatures this week, probably mid 70s. I think there might be a few low 80s in there. Gonna make the lawns look really, really good. Boss fail. Good job. Mrs. Cone never lets me down twice. I just landed her twice. You probably didn't even see it. Did you? Yep. You just saw your showing off? One as you were coming towards me, and one right behind your back. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, good job. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I actually got a $10 tip today from a customer. He just walks out, he goes, hey, great job, thank you. 
Didn't look at it, stuck in my pocket, said thank you to him, and yeah, we moved on. So that'll buy drinks for at least the next couple of days for TQ and myself, and it's always appreciated. You know, we never ask for anything, and you know, when people appreciate the good job that we do going above and beyond, we appreciate them, right? Anyways, I want to reiterate to you guys, I've mowed that big commercial property probably 250 times, maybe 300, I don't know. And simply, it just slipped my mind, that hole being there, I, I've known it's been there, it's been there for years, and I was just cruising along, and remembered it at the last second, and just belt off of there. But, you know, we all can get too comfortable, and sometimes a little reminder, uh, you know, to slow down a little bit, and to take our time, uh, can save us, you know, can save us from an injury, can save us from a breakdown, that could have been extremely bad, and, uh, yeah, it just is what it is. I just wanted to throw that out there to you guys. That was purely coincidental that it happened while TQ was recording. And uh, yeah, luckily I know how to bell off of a machine pretty safely. But can you imagine if that was somebody sitting down or somebody with le a little less experience not knowing and just hit that hole or, you know, whatever, flipped the mower over. I mean, it was still pretty darn close even for me. And uh, what I tried to do at the last second is I thought I could turn it and go up the hill like I normally do. And I was just too close. I just bailed on it. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay safe out there. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQL, peace. Bye-bye.